Welcome into another lesson. Today we are looking, as you've just seen, at Atlanta Quest um, snare break from 2018. It's a difficult one and it's a real long one, all right? This lesson, you're going to have to be a bit patient. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every bar in it. I'm going to teach you one bar at a time and take it nice and slow. You're probably going to have to come back and watch, unless you're a really fast learner, some of this and pause it, learn a bit, pause it, learn a bit. But it's a fun one once you get it, okay? Let's get stuck straight in, waste no time. So if we start with the first bar, all we've got, as you can see, is just eighth notes. So we're just simply counting one and two and three and four and. Now the sticking is just right, left, right, 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 left. But at the end, we've got a little drag. So if I go the way to the one, I've got one and two and three and four and a one. One and two and three and four and a one. One and two and three and four and a one. And what I'm doing is I'm going from the top corner here, coming inwards with a, with a bit of a crescendo, and then going down, back to the edge. And three and four and a one. Right, the second bar is the same kind of sound, but what we do this time is we get four notes at the start. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. Or one and two and. One and two and. And then the left keep going all the way to the end. One and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and one. So those two bars together will go. Um, Very simple, all right? Straight away though, we're into something a little bit more difficult. We've then got three counts of 16th notes. One yander, two yander, three yander, all of that top right hand corner still. One yander, two yander, three yander, stop. One yander, two yander, three yander, stop. At the end, instead of stopping, we do a paradiddle. Now, I, I like to call this one paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop. There's um, various different ways you can do it. Obviously, grandma's would be all the left up, wouldn't it? It's kind of the same rudiment as that, but what we've got this is we can put the accent at the start, at the end. Or on both. Um, now, in this particular um, snare break, what happens after those three counts of 16th notes, one e under two e under three e under stop, on count four, we then do four of those paradiddle stops. But the first two have got kind of right handed accents, but only uh, low because it's crescendos as well. So that. Then it brings out the last note. So we get. So if I play that with the 16th, I get one e under two e under three e under paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop. Then we get two more, but with these ones we get two accents that start. Paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop. So altogether that was six paradiddles, all right? So right, right, left, left, both, both, stop. Add that onto the 16th notes. One e under two e under three e under paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop. And at the end I've got a real simple so down to the front and back to the middle and then with a flam. Now this exercise or this um, snare break I should say, it's a long one and it's all at about 203 to 204 beats per minute. We're going to learn it way slower at the moment. We're going to put a metronome on about 170, which is still quick, right? Two, three, four. Not too bad though. So next section, we've just done, we're into kind of a flam section here. Well, those last four notes are eight notes, three and four and one. Well, that sets the pace for the next bit, which is starts with a chudature into a left-handed invert into a cheese triplet. So we get Again, the sort of pace. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good. 
Next pipe then. The part pipe goes like this. Um, right, what we've actually got there is we've got one of these, which is this pattern, but the lefts are up with the flam, so one, one and a two. Then we've got a left-handed cheese onto a rim shot. So flam, cheese, stop. Now then this next part is, um, it's quite an interesting one at speed. We've got right, left, right, left, but I've got the second note, press buzz. So I get. So if I put those two together. The Met. One, two, three, four. And it's with just the right hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, so not too bad so far. Then we've got hand to hand flams at eighth note pace. One and two and three and four and kind of floppy arms. One and two and three and four and. So if I add that on, I get chudder chur. So we start with a single, single, flam, 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 single at the end. So all of that section from the chudachers, one, two, three, four. Right, now this next part, I'm dreading showing this to you, right, because there's four with one hand. Now that is hard, right? I can't do it all that well. These guys must have spent a lot of time cleaning this up. To get four with one hand, there's different ways of doing it. Um, one of the ways of doing it is thinking it a little bit like, at, the, at speed, a little bit like a buzz roll, so like this. Except for what we're doing is we're obviously uh, controlling uh, the amount of notes that we're getting. So rather than just getting 20 like this, I'm pulling it up after the fourth. Now, the pattern itself though, if I teach you that first, we've got to play a grouping of six notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, four rights and two lefts. So I would sit there to start with for a long time, just practicing, just going that around and round and round and round. teaching yourself how to get just the right amount of tension in, the, in your fingers to be able to get a fall out, but without it sounding like it's difficult man, you have to speak to those guys to see how they went about cleaning that. Right, so what we've got leading into that though, is we've got some singles, so we've got six notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixteenth notes, one E and a two E, then we've got the four, then the two, and we repeat that twice, so we basically get one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 so learn that to begin with. Now there's a little bit of a almost insinuated accent pattern in there, which is so tiny. Some of the guys don't even really do it, but some of the guys are accent the first two, and then the second bit they're kind of going nowhere near as much as that. Though, so kind of makes sense. So at speed, that's difficult out of this. It's a little bit easier actually on the snare drum because we get a little bit more rebound. I'm going to see if I could do that at 170. It's difficult, man. <laughs> Nearly, right? Most of the time. I reckon I could hide in a group of eight drummers playing that a little bit softer than them and get, get by with that, right? But Obviously, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be the guy that can play it perfect each time. So you just need to do that hundreds and hundreds of times. Okay, that section there then, that isn't the end of that bar. 
but the, I think of that as the end of a section. And then the next bar is kind of a, almost a bar of five. So in the next section, we get two flam taps, and then we get this decrescendo to the right hand to the edge. So we get flam tap, flam tap, and we end with a right-handed flam. If you do want to press that in time with the metronome, come on, count four. Four, one, two, three. One, two, three. Then we've got a nice easy section for a little while. We're at the very edge and we're just playing two flam taps with a little single in there. So flam tap, flam tap, dig it, chat, chat. -cha. So that two sections goes. Then we get this little crescendo again, which goes, I can't tell from the video whether the right hand stays at the edge and the left hand comes in or they both come in. I have a feeling it's just the left hand. What am I playing there? Well, I'm playing Swiss triplets. For the first one, we've got kind of a kick on it. So we've got two rights and an accented left. And then we just do normal Swiss triplets, kind of decrescendoing. Real slow, you get To the edge. So that's obviously in triplet meter, so it's quite quick. Two, three, four. So if I go from those flam taps off the left arm and count four, I've got one, two, three. And again, it's on four, two, three. Then I've got another one of these crescendos, a nice little ends with a right hand. So that's easy enough. So I'd stick that on the end after. Right, then we're into the end section. This is where it gets difficult again. So this first bit, if everyone thinks of the Dolby exercise, the standard. Well, that pattern kind of happens here. What I did to learn this was I played it like this. So I've got one E, a two, and a E, and, and then four notes. And I learned it that way. And then I learned the stick in. The stick is two rights, two lefts, right, left, right, left, and then the four at the end. Now there's not a four on, on the actual notation, right? But bear with me on this one. So we get two, three, four. Two, three, four. So now if we get a little bit closer to the notation, we've got two quiet ones in there. Uh, is it around? I think it's that way around, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got loud, loud, quiet, loud. And then instead of four at the end, to get out, instead of this, it's actually just three. A bit like a hertz. So we get two, three, four. Now this is at an insane speed. So bear in mind this is 117, not the 203 we've got to get to. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now I've missed one thing out. There's a buzz on that little three at the end. So we get a little press buzz. So, um, then we're into our nice little switching flams pattern. If you play three flams with your left hand, and then three flams with your right hand, that's the pattern we're going to get. Excuse that noise, it's doorbell. So we're going to get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I play that pattern then, I've got, then well, that left there has got another right after it. So we get and uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. One and two and three and four and one. So that pattern 
the game with a metronome. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now this next one is fast as anything, right? We've got to be as fast rolls with this one. We've got that pattern there, which is a five stroke, then left handed diddle, and then a, that up to a flam. In triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, one under, two under. And then I've got a left handed flam drag to paradiddle. So that part together. Um, and that's that bar. One more left at the end to get to the start. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Bit faster. It's real quick. Right. One seventy. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So leading into that with the Down lead. Two, three, four. Final stretch now, right? All we play next on the next bit is this. To get to get that dap, and then we've got the equivalent of a seven-stroke roll, as in that sound there. But we're doing it like this. Three and three. So you think of the sound like this. This is how I practiced it. Play these. Play one of these and then do the extra part and make it sound the same. Now then you've got to get used to the end, actually it presses in so it goes, that's the actual part and there's two of those. And they kind of go underneath each other, right, to get this motion on the snare drum. So we get, digga digga dat dat, that's the first part and then digga 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 dat. And that's the whole bar. A little bit slower. One seventy. Right near the end now. So it's like a, a left-handed paradiddle there, left, right, left, left, after that buzz. So that, that would, if we start on that bar, it would go left, right, left, left. Kind of a buzz, press it, da, da. That's the part. Now they kind of get a nice little buzzy sound. It's hard to get on a pad, but on a drum, like zzz, zzz, that kind of sound. So that part there leads us right up to the end. We suddenly go into triplets and we go, as in like, Remember, right, that's when they kind of jump low like that, so we get this. So we've got um, metronome. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And we're right at the very end now. Then we've got to play real fast parody or diddle stop. Right, left, right, right, left, left, stop. We're doing a crossover. There's two ways of playing this, right? You either leave your right static and just move your left. Or I like to move my right as if it's going underneath like that, like I'm hitting a tennis ball or something. And then my left. Just to make it a little bit harder, they decided they'd go a back stick. So we get para diddle diddle stop. Para diddle diddle stop. Don't need a lot of noise on that last one, it's just a drop, it's just a place. Right now from here, we throw the stick like this, so my fingers are coming towards my face, and we catch it, so here, catch, and there's two duts in there, and that's basically the throw and the catch, duck, duck, that was a lucky catch. So we're here, and we kind of get duck, duck, and then what do we get? We get 
right, left, a left shot being a rim, a left hand being a rim shot even, and then both together. So that last section would go, da, da. Now timing wise, we're on um, three, four, three, four. Oh, would it be three, four? Yeah, three, four. So let's just quickly go through the whole thing, because that's it. Let's go the whole thing a couple of bits at a time of how I would go about learning it. So the first thing I do is I practice that first section. Um, master that, then the three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, all that to four. One, two, three, four, then the paradiddles. I take that as a section. Then this section. Up to probably up to there. So two, three, four. Then the crazy bit. I take that as a section on its own. Ah. Then the next section from the left hand. I think this was another part on its own. And that takes me all the way to the end section. So that bit again from the left hand flam taps. Um. And then that end section. And then finally. Um, what's next? And that's your whole thing. Now, I don't know if I can play this at 170. I thought I'd try and do it for you because it'll give you a reference to listen to. So let me try it a little bit slower at two, uh, 170 and see if I can get away from it. about as close as I'm getting it right is ironically once you've memorized it once you've memorized it so you've got to do it loads and loads of times it's actually easier faster because the speed of these means that certain things like that four is actually easier to just kind of drop onto the drum and push your way through it it's all played fairly light so I wouldn't pound on this stuff especially like the it's not like that it's a light one So lay off of that a little bit. If I can get the speed, you can get the speed, right? It's just gonna take lots and lots of reps, right? This is a very cool little snare break. I think that for me, in this snare break, they've got the um, density of notes, difficulty, and speed just right. I tend to find that when there's loads of fives in there and sevens and crazy time signatures, um, I, I, I enjoy that stuff, but if there's too much, get bored. And if there's not enough flams in there, get bored. Uh, for me, this has got just everything just right. Um, how you get better with those fours, I've no idea, right? I'll try the stuff that I've said today. I've never had to clean a line playing four on a hand before, right? I'm sure I'd figure it out if I had three months like they, maybe those guys have got, but fair play to them, man. There's some good players in that line. If you've enjoyed this lesson and you got anything out of this, then please think about subscribing, hit the like button, leave me some comments. If there's any other snare breaks you'd like me to look at, uh, then please let me know. I've already done some Vanguard ones, some Blue Devils ones. I'd like to look at some, maybe some of the WGI ones, but... Um, I'm open to uh, your suggestions. So thanks for watching. See you again next time.